Okay guys, we got a 2014 Kia Sorento here with the 2.4. We're going to be doing rear brakes on it. If you need the front brakes, I actually have those in another video. Um, the rear brakes are, we're using a 1284 part number. So let's start by getting those tires off. Again, if you want to click on my name underneath this video, you can search the Kia and get the front ones if you need it. Might even been the same car, I don't remember, but I do know that we have it. So we're going to get it jacked up. We'll take the brakes off, pull some tools out, and show you what we're going to do. Be right back. Okay, you got the tire off there. First thing you want to do, though, is take this cap off. A lot of the older vehicles, it really doesn't matter. It'll push back. But on some of these ones, like, I don't know, 2000, or 20, 2010 and newer, um, if you apply too much pressure pushing that uh, slave cylinder back or that caliper back, pushing the pressure into this, you can throw the ABS sensor, uh, pressure sensor. And this way we don't have to clear a light or anything later too. So now here's your caliper. We're not changing the rotor. We're just doing a pad slap on this. So we're gonna pull these two 12s off and rotate this caliper back. And I'll show you how we're gonna push that piston back. Okay guys, so we got the caliper bolt off. He's got it rolled up here to pull the shoes out, but we still need to push this piston back. So this little tool here, you can use a pair of bit large pliers or something, but this works really well too. Just squeeze it down. You see the piston going down and she hits the bottom, you stop. And again, now this is why we took the cap on the, off the reservoir now, because the fluid pressure got moved. So now he's gonna pull the brake shoes, throw another set in there. I can hold that up for you. We got our new ones here. I think these were part number 1284s or 1282s. I think I mentioned that. If I didn't, I will get that part number again for you. My hand in the way you can't see. <laughs> That one's being a bugger. You see that metal tab? Oh, yeah, there's a metal tab in the way. Hold this up. Yeah, got it. Got it? Oh, that little thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get it back out of there. Okay, guys, just, I'm glad this happened so that you can see it too. You can see those are both running the same way. This one, the one that points down after the curb it goes on the passenger side. We got the wrong one. So this clip was hitting on the top and it should be on the bottom. So. I can't see it there. You want to do it? Grab a pair of channel locks. We may have bent that tab a little bit. Okay, so I just squeezed it down a little bit. That tab right there, the squeaker for your brake was hitting. So we're good now. We can drop the caliper down, throw the bolt back in it. We'll tighten that up, throw our tire back on. And then whenever you do these, now that he's done there with that, um, before you leave, you want to pump up the brakes three times. Remember to put your lid back on here. And we're still going to do the other side, but it's done the same way. But we'll put the lid back on when he's done with the other side. We'll pump up the brakes three times, start the car, and pump it three more, and then you're good to go. So, looks like we just got another one towed in. We'll see what that is, and maybe we'll make another video today. So, I hope this helps you out. Please click like. Please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.